But it's a rare thing anywhere in the animal world to see a tool being used quite this deliberately. I think it's very likely that the female watches these drumming displays and can tell something about either the male or the nest tree at which he's performing. You know, there's something that she's picking up in the way that the drumming sound resonates inside the hollow. We don't really know, but, I mean, she watches very intently. The choosy males will try two or three different drumsticks before they settle on one they really like. When they actually perform the drumming display at the nest, it does seem to have a rhythm. But when he's finished with it, he'll often sit at the edge of the hollow and splinter up the stick and add it to the nesting platform that's inside the hollow. If the female is impressed, she will walk down and join him at the entrance of the nest to see if it's good enough to breed in. With the hollow approved, they can fly off to have a morning snack. The local birds gather at trees that are fruiting. That really powerful beak that palm cockatoos have, which is by far the biggest beak of any of the cockatoos, it allows them to eat foods that other cockatoos and other animals in general just simply can't access. I think palm cockatoos are very intelligent. You've only got to watch a pair courting at their nest or, or a male fashioning a drumstick to realise that there is complicated thought going in that, that big head of theirs. Of course, these regal palm cockatoos are not the only clever ones. All parrots are smart. But these are the oldest, the closest living relatives of the ancestral cockatoos that first evolved in Australia some 20 million years ago. From these northern tropical rainforests, parrots began winging their way all across the continent adapting to every corner of the country. There's no greater richness and diversity of parrots anywhere than here, in Australia, the land of Oz.